Hello, Henry County students. My name is Kimball Hildreth, and I'm here on your virtual career fair today to tell you a little bit about my career in software development. I am 28 years old, and I was a student in Henry County some years ago. So my, my aim and my goal is to just share a little bit about my education and career experience and how that led to my current work in software design. So after I completed high school, I went to Georgia Tech, just up the road in Atlanta, to study computer science. So computer science is really the, it's the activities involved in writing software, solving solutions with computers, building applications, building websites. Computer science touches so many different disciplines. Um, almost any type of industry or business today uses computers in some form or fashion. So when you work as a computer scientist, the sky's the limit on the different types of projects you can work on. So I studied computer science at Georgia Tech for four years. I really enjoyed that. I got my degree in computer science. And the most valuable thing I did while studying in college was participate in a co-op program. So a co-op is kind of like an internship that repeats itself. It was a four semester co-op and I worked for a small software company that developed software tools for Home Depot. We built web apps for Home Depot to track the projects that happened inside of the Home Depot stores, to track time that was spent by the Home Depot associates in the stores, and to give tools to the Home Depot corporate office to plan new product releases. So you might have a new and improved hammer that's being released to a thousand Home Depot stores across the US. They would create a project in our web app that we built for them, and they would pick which stores they wanted the hammer to end up being shipped to and then displayed within. Then they would pick the various teams and managers whose job it was to actually create the displays and the shelves and to pull in all the products to get that hammer displayed in the right Home Depot stores. So my job there initially was to write software. So I would come into work every day and I would use HTML and JavaScript and CSS to build out features in the web app to allow the Home Depot team members to better plan all their product releases and all the logistics that were occurring in stores. That type of project, um, that type of software is called project management software. So that's where I began my computer career, building project management software as a co-op or intern for Home Depot. Now, rewinding back into high school, I got into computer science. I got into the whole computer field, really by being curious about how graphic design worked and then how web design worked. So I, I made money in my middle school and high school years building websites for local business owners and I really enjoyed it. It was a great way for me to pay for my first computer, pay for my car, pay for a camera and that's where I got my initial interest in building websites. In fact my brother and I had a little bluegrass band back in the day. That was the very first website I built. A website showing people who we were, what our band was about and why we liked bluegrass music. So after the middle and high school web development and the website development, that led to majoring in computer science and getting my first software programming job, building tools for Home Depot. After I graduated, I ran my own online company for a few years. It was an online e-commerce company and we sold rubber stamps. So I used the internet and I used tools like Etsy.com to sell these custom rubber stamps that you would used to apply ink on paper. So that was a pretty great internet-based job for a few years. And then I went full-time working for the company building software for Home Depot. I worked for them for about two, two and a half years full-time. After that, I moved back down to Henry County and I've been working with another small software team down here, building other various tools that are similar in nature to the project management software for Home Depot. The tools we build now are project management tools for surveyors, 
and environmental engineers. And we're also building some tools to help promote computer science education within the state of Georgia. So we build quite a few web apps. That's been really the bread and butter of my career so far, building web applications and maintaining those. And those web apps just help businesses run more smoothly to track their projects, track their clients, track various data about those projects. And that's where I am today. So a, a day in the life of a developer or a software manager really involves hopping on your computer, checking email, working on software features, we call them tickets. And then the software engineers will build those tickets and release them to the code base. Um, and then the tickets, those features go live eventually so users can enjoy them. And there's a, there's a lot of using documents like Word or Google Docs. We work with spreadsheets very often. Um, I actually don't code too much anymore. Um, most of my work is involved in organizing the team members and communicating with clients or stakeholders. So there's a lot of communication in software design. As far as giving any student tips on how to get into this industry, I would suggest building your first website. I would suggest taking a look at a course or a curriculum like um, the one that our team's building, Live Oak Computer Science. We're actually working to release that to Henry County schools and students over the next few months. But um, there's so many resources online, W3C schools. You can learn how to build a website. Just Google it, how to build my first website. Use HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and build a little portfolio. Once you've built a portfolio up, then you can start showing local business owners or friends and family what you've created. That's a great start into the world of software design and web design. And once you've gotten good at it, you can actually start charging people for it. That's what I did in middle school and high school to earn income initially. And if you decide that you want something a little more challenging than building the websites, start developing database um, powered software like the web apps that we build for work. So the, um, I'd say some of the benefits and pros of being in this industry are the ability to work remote, the ability to work flexibly. Um, problem solving is always, a, um, always one of my favorite parts of the job. So those are just a few snippets, a few um, ideas as to how you can get into that work and field. Um, typically, it's fairly well-paid work. Um, you know, it's, it's, it really comes down to just building a good network and finding meaningful projects to work on and being consistent, being consistent in how you get things done and your day-to-day -day communications with your team. So I would definitely recommend computer science, software design and development, web development to anyone who enjoys solving problems, who is happy to work on a computer and who wants to continue keeping up with new tech as it rolls out. I hope you all have a great career fair and um, just enjoy the, the last few months of 2020. And if you have any questions at all about pursuing a career in computer science, feel free to go to liveoakcs.com and reach out to our team and we're, we're happy to answer any questions. Take care.